Welcome back to your DB2 tutorial series. This is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is going to be over third normal form. So this is the last normal form I have enough energy to care about. So we're gonna stop after this one and move on to something else. <laughs> Once you get beyond third normal form, it's almost like nitpicking, like, oh, psh, this thing's basically good enough, but I'm gonna make you change it anyways. <laughs> Personal opinion, just throwing that out there. So I think third normal form is more than adequate to consider your database normalized. All right, I'll quit wasting your time. Let's get started. What exactly is third normal form? Well, if you remember in the previous video, if you watched it, I had an intermediary table for user interest. And one of the columns that I tried to put in that table was an interest category. And then I was like, oh, this doesn't really belong here. Let's move that to the interest table. What we have is an interest table that looks something like this. So we have three columns, the interest ID, the actual interest value, and then the category that the interest belongs to. Like I said in the previous video, this could be a foreign key to a category table if you wanna set that up. For now, you can just leave it as a varchar, for example, and just type in your category. And now let's say we add a column to this. This is a violation of third normal form. But I actually haven't even explained what third normal form is, so I should probably do that first. <laughs> third normal form deals with something called transitive dependencies. Essentially what a transitive dependency is, is when a column depends on the primary key, as it should in normal database design, but it does so through another column. If you think about switching a specific interest, so let's, let's think of an interest. I'm interested in computer science. That might be in the category STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, right? Well, if we describe that, we would say like, oh, this is a category for all things relevant to science, technology, engineering, and math, including blah, 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 just a description of whatever the category describes. And you can decide whether that description is useful or not, but for this example, Assume we decided we're going to have a category description. Now, if we change the interest we're talking about to something else, like, you know, acrylic painting, <laughs> well, now we're gonna be talking about art. So the category might be art. And the description would say, oh, anything relating to the creation or production of whatever, you know, that would be the description of the category. So you can see when we change the interest, the category description also changes because we switched from the interest from computer science to acrylic painting, and in the process, the category description changed. So this category description does depend on the interest, but it does it transitively, which means through another column, like this. So when you get this hop here, you have a transitive dependency. The way you fix this is by going from the entity and going up one hop, and whatever this attribute is, you're going to take that and make it an entity in its own table. And now you can take this dependency right here and move it over here. And now since it'll be referring directly to the category, it's not a transitive dependency. This is just a normal dependency. But how do we fix this mess over here? What you do is you replace this with a category ID. And that is going to reference this category ID over here. So that's your foreign key reference then you're just going to delete this category description because it's not needed in this interest table. And this makes sense. We don't want to have this in here because we're going to have the category description in here for every single interest. That doesn't make sense. We really only need the category description one time, once for each category. So that is how you fix third normal form and get rid of transitive dependencies. If you have a chain, where you don't just have three dependencies, but you have four or five, just follow that process through all of them. You start with just going up one dependency, breaking that off into a new table, and then move all the other dependencies that are connected to that into that table. And then you just repeat the process. Go to the next dependency, move that into a new table, and so forth. So yeah, there you go guys. That's first normal form, second normal form, and third normal form. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed these videos, please, please click like, you know, subscribe. Check out the description for some links. Go give DB2 a try. I'm out of things to say. So I will see you in the next video. Peace.